and our declaration of Jehovah's blessing are these. I declare, this is my season for peace, power, promises and prosperity. I declare the peace of Jehovah in my life and in my body. I declare the power of Jehovah to manifest fully in my life. I declare the promises of Jehovah fulfilled in my life. I declare the prosperity of Jehovah to permeate every area of my life. And I declare I will walk in obedience to Jehovah every day of my life. And what we find in the scripture is that the word, the word of the Almighty, the words of Yeshua are seeds. And when the seed is sown into good ground, it bears fruit. That's how the Father is glorified. But there are times when we sow seeds which are not the words of the Father. And sometimes those words go into good ground and sometimes they go into bad ground. But they also bear forth fruit but the fruit which they bear is not to the glorification of the father so sometimes we can go through life looking at our lives not considering where the fruit of our lives actually comes from there's a good harvest and there's a bad harvest the bible teaches that Father will dispatch his angels. His angels will go forth and they will be reaping a harvest. One harvest is wheat, another harvest is tares. The wheat goes into the barn. That's what Father is looking for. That's what he sowed. But there are seeds which have been sowed by the enemy, the tares those will go into the furnace. So we can see in scripture that there are different seeds and different seeds produce different harvests. Now if your words are seeds, there are some words that you are sowing in other people, in your own life, which have produced a harvest. If you look at your own life, Maybe you've allowed some words to take root and to produce things which you don't want. Maybe you've allowed your words to go into someone else and that's producing fruit that you're having to deal with. And I can attest for my own life that there are times there are things that I've said which have put me in positions where I'm having to eat some sour bit of fruit. So when we consider the words and the power and implication of our words, then we begin to see that if I start declaring Father's word in my life, then maybe I start, will start seeing the fruit of those words manifest in my life. During the teaching, Watch Your Mouth, I actually showed you a scientific evidence, visual evidence of the power of your words. For those of you who did not see that teaching, for a period of 31 days I spoke to apples, or half of an apple. I spoke good things to one half and horrible things to another half. And lo and behold, the good things that I spoke to the same half of the apple it didn't corrupt over 31 days. There was very little evidence that it was uh, cut 31 days ago. Now, in comparison to the one I spoke those horrible words with horrible intentions to, there was four times the amount of corruption on that apple. Now, that's the power of your words manifesting in the physical. But there's also a power of your words manifesting in the spiritual. 
if Father is spirit, and the Bible says that Yeshua's words, they are spirit and they are life, then what words are you speaking? Are you speaking life? This is the power of your declarations, what you allow to come out of your mouth. 